Hi everyone, welcome back. Well, we're here on a Thursday, and of course you know it. Pick a card for today, and it'll go on to next Thursday. So it's basically pick a card for the week. So what I want you to do is you can either close your eyes or just take a couple of minutes and use your intuition on what pile you want. You want to pick one, two, or three. And yeah, of course, I'll let you know what I picked. <laughs> all right. If you're all set, I'm going to start. So pile one. Or shall I say, yeah, well, pile one. It is a pile, so. <laughs> all right. So the first pile, if you pick one, it's starts off with daughter. The answer in your question involves your daughter. So if you have any unanswered questions this week, it could be answered by a female person or who knows, maybe a younger person or even your daughter. All right, let's see what the second card has to tell us. Marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedding bliss. All right, it doesn't exactly mean you're going to get married. <laughs> so it could also mean that maybe you're going to see a wedding or maybe, you know, someone around you is getting married or who knows, maybe someone is asking you this week. You never know. But yeah. And the third card for this week, it's the hangman. It's also saying this week you're going to feel kind of stuck. If you pick this pile that you're feeling that you're not really going anywhere, that things are just not moving at the pace you want them to be moving. feels like you're just hanging around doing nothing right now. You know, sometimes we have that feeling, you know, it does go away eventually. So, yeah, sorry about the glare, but can't be helped. <laughs> And for the last card, it's Page of Cups. Also this week, you're going to have some kind of emotional news coming your way. Whether it's good news or, you know, not so good news, you never know whichever way it may fall. But you will be kind of emotional. So, yeah. So that's basically it. Not really that bad, you know. All right, now if you picked number two, this is for two. All right, new career. Your work focuses, well, your work focus is shifted in a positive, new, and successful direction. So it doesn't exactly mean that you're going to get a new career. It could mean that your existing career that you're in and everything could be shifted in a new position or even a higher position. Who knows, maybe you're getting a raise. But yeah, something new and exciting. All right. So the second card, travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So who knows, maybe this week, if you, know, you figure that maybe you want to go on a vacation pretty soon, that you're preparing for a vacation, uh, who knows, it could be a short trip, it could be a long trip, but whichever the case may be this week, if you are in everything, it could help you out in so many ways. It can, you know, it can help you relax, it can help you, you know, in positive ways. You know, sometimes we just need that getaway to feel fresh and new again. All right. So the third card. Seven of Wands. This is just basically saying that, oops, sometimes this week, you know, you're going to feel like you're in a good place to defend yourself. You know, maybe you're going through some kind of problems and everything and, you know, but you are in that place where, you know, that you don't have to really worry about what's going on because you come out on top. So yeah, and 
for the last card. Four of Cups. This is also saying that for some odd reason, you are not like what's being offered to you this week. <laughs> you have all these, op well, not all the options, but you have three other options, but for some reason you want the, ca the card or the cup or whatever, that certain something that's out of reach for you. So you're not happy with what's in front of you. But you know, sometimes we're not. <laughs> we always want things that are out of reach. So, all right, that's the ending for number two. Now we move on to number three. All right. Healing, healed, and healer. Healing energy surrounds you in this situation. All right, for this pile, whoever picked it, we have this week, we have healing for us. So if we're going through anything or if we're trying to recover from a cold or whatever, or even emotional problems, we are healing in our own way. And we are going to be healed. So that's always good. All right. Second card, affirmations. To lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. So if there's something that you want, or even just to boost your spirits or whatever, you know, you have that, just look in the mirror and have positive affirmations. You know, tell yourself, I'm going to do this, or, you know, I'm worthy, um, you know, I'm pretty, um, you know, all things positive. <laughs> just look in the mirror and give positive affirmations every morning to yourself. Get up and say, this is going to be a great day or whatever. So yeah. And for the third card, the magician. Ooh. This is always good because it's saying that whatever happens, you are in control of any situation. You have the means to conjure anything that you want. Or if you want to get something, you have the means for it. But remember, you are in control of any situation that falls your way this week. And for the last card, Five of Swords. This is basically just telling you to watch. Oops, sorry. This is basically just telling you to watch out because there might be someone, you know, that's not really playing fear or who might try to stab you in the back. So it's always better. What is that saying? Keep your enemies. No, wait. Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. I think that's what it is. But just watch out. You're forewarned and everything, so just watch out for that sneaky little one. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And I picked, <laughs> actually, I picked number three, so I have to watch out too this week. So, yeah, that's always fun. But there's other good cards over there. I'm in control of things this week. Whatever I'm going through, I'm healing. So it's always good. All right, guys, I'll catch you Saturday. And if you're enjoying this, let me know for, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I can do to make this channel better. In order for me to do that, I would like to know what you guys like, what you don't like. You know, don't be shy. Just let me know in the comments below, you know, just to steer me in the right directions because, you know, I do this for you guys. For, you know to keep you guys entertained. So if you have any video ideas or whatever, you know, just let me know. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you Saturday. Keep smiling, stay safe, and have fun. Bye, guys.